couldn't get close. He did still win the event, though. Now, with no crowds permitted inside grounds at the moment, it's a tough time for lower league clubs and their players. Lewis Kinsella, defender for non-league club Aldershots, got injured before lockdown and used the time to get himself fit again. But then on Saturday, he ruptured his MCL and needs an operation. Well, the club say they will pay for it, but Lewis is very aware of how tight things are financially. So he set up a GoFundMe page to pay the club back. Earlier, Lewis said he was very grateful to one famous donor in particular, but he started by telling me his reaction when he heard he would be out for another six months. The club have done a lot for me over the last three years and I know how, how much of a struggle it is at, at the non-league level and the amount of volunteers that the, the, the National League and the, the non-league re rely on really. So, um, And with what's going on with COVID and not allowing fans in at our level, I thought if I can raise some money and pay back the club for, for funding my operation, then, then it means that I'm helping the club in my own little way. And you've already raised a considerable amount and from some quite recognisable names as well. Yeah, um, obviously Jack um, Grealish has donated two thousand pounds, which is amazing. Um, at the beginning, I didn't even—I literally didn't even ask him or anything. I just put it up, and um, I got a message through on on my family group chat saying, "Have you seen how much he's donated?" And to be fair, I didn't know who my mum was going on about, and um, I said who, and she said Jack, and I went on and see it. Um, so I so I literally messaged him straight away saying, "Thank you, thank you so much," and stuff. We had a bit of a chat. Um, and then over the, the last couple of days, some, some real, real good people have donated. Um, Ty Browning's another one and who's obviously at Everton, who's in China now, I think. Um, I think I played against him in a reserve team once and um, he donated £250, but never even had a conversation with him. But yeah, lots of donations, um, lots of lots of donations from Villa fans and Aldershot Town fans and just like lots of people from the non-league world, really. And can you explain um, the, the, the history, the, the reason why you, you know Jack? Uh, we was in the, the same youth team at Villa, growing up together and in the reserve team and then um, a bit in the first team together. And we just become really good mates and we've been on holidays together and still keep in touch. And um, he's doing really well. And I just, the one of the things I kept putting it up on social media is just, to, just for him to get some good press. I think he gets a lot of bad press and um, this is, he doesn't, people don't see the, the good stuff that he does and he's, He's really helped me and he's really helped Aldershot Town. Oh, we wish Lewis all the best for his operation next month. Still to come on Sports Day. He's been described as the best boxer in the UK. 